time to read. And we're back for Sled Dog School. Terry Lynn Johnson is the writer. We are on chapter 14, page 115. And this time, I'm going to have you track with me while I read it. Chapter 14. Just as they feared their parents were waiting for them at the trailhead when they returned, Dad was hooking up a team, Matt assumed, to go find them and made even Lily say, uh-oh. Yeah, Matt said. Lily sat on Tub's lap in the sled with only four sled dogs. Alex and Matt had been running beside the sled more than sharing the runners. By now, the dogs really needed those snacks. Matthew, Dad yelled. He marched toward them with a mix of worry and fear and something else on his face. Matt was too nervous to try to figure it out. Where were you, son? Are you okay? We're okay, Matt said, kicking in the hook and walking up to the team to praise the dogs for their hard work. Boo panted hotly in Matt's face and thumped his tail on the snow. Matt sank his fingers into the thick fur and pressed his forehead to the dogs. Thank you, he whispered. I promise I... He squeezed his eyes shut. Matt wanted to be worthy of Foo's trust. Why are you so late? Dad asked. Mrs. Stevens has been here for a long while. He nodded at Alex's mom and then eyed Matt sternly. Matt could imagine how much fun it had been waiting here with her. And Mrs. White was about to call the searchers out for Tyler. Who? Matt asked. That's me, said Tubbs with a sigh. Tubbs' mom made a sweeping gesture toward their car. Let's go, let's go. You've made me late for yoga. Alex's mom pointed a long finger at her daughter. I don't believe this is the correct activity for you, Alexandria. She turned to dad. We will be withdrawing from the lessons, Mr. Misko. I'm sure you'll understand. She turned to Matt next and gave him a withering stare. Then he registered what she had said. Matt was losing a client. No! He needed the sales. He needed to pass this assignment. Let's stop there. We have a vocab word. We are on page 116, and the word is withering. This is a lot different than the Elmo at school, isn't it, guys? So withering means decaying and shriveling. Page 116. And that's what she gave him. She turned to Matt next and gave him a withering stare. If looks could kill, right, guys? So let's write that down. She gave him a stare and almost as if she was trying to hurt him with just a look. This is Alex's mom. She turned, oops, I'm trying to hold the phone, so excuse my handwriting, to Matt Neck. and gave him a withering stare. That does not sound good. Okay, let's keep reading. Mrs. Stevens, he's never done this before. Come back so late, Dad said. Matt, what the dokey were you thinking, yeah? Matt couldn't think fast enough. He didn't want Dad to know how badly he'd screwed up with Lily, but his dad was angry already, and all the moms were mad at him. It was all my fault we're late, Alex blurted. Tubbs and Matt both turned to stare at her. It had nothing to do with Matt. He was trying to be a good teacher, but I, well, I wanted to run the team on my own. Yes, I took Lily here and made off with the team and left the boys to walk behind us. It was only a prank. Then I waited for them to catch up so we could all come in together. Her face was perfectly composed as she explained the situation to her mother, her mom. I'm going to be quite good at this, mother. I just need to follow through with the rest of the planned lessons. I'm afraid I was showing off a little. This apparently was just what Mrs. Stevens wanted to hear. Her demeanor changed. The stiffness of her shoulders relaxed. Her mouth turned up in a secret, triumphant smile. She nodded a fraction before she stopped herself and smoothed down her long coat picking off stray dog hairs. Well, we can discuss this at home. For now, we've been here long enough. If that's everything, Mr. Misko, we will call later in the week to let you know what we've decided. 
Tubbs and Matt shared a look of amazement. First, Alex had found Lily. Now she was covering for Matt? He had a new, grudging respect for Alex, and he saw in Tubbs' eyes that he did too. A horn blared and Tubbs jerked to a hasty shuffle. He retrieved flute and then scampered toward his mom, who was waiting in the car. The end, chapter 14. And we do have to add our last vocab word from this chapter, which was demeanor. As soon as Alex said that she was trying to show off and that she did a prank on somebody else, it seems like Alex's mom's whole behavior changed. Her demeanor changed. What is her demeanor? Demeanor, outward behavior. She almost seemed happy and proud. Alex would do such a thing. Interesting. Her demeanor changed. All right, guys. And that is the end.